Bad shot. Also bad shot. I mean, better, but still. I should be aiming for the horns, not the eye. Alright, goodbye! I accidentally crafted twice there by mistake. Okay, well, what that was that? an event. A power generator? Hi there. What's this? No, that the scrap pile, the thing. Advert, data corruption minimal. Exhibits, the Western Grand Array proudly presents the Eyes to the Heavens exhibit where visitors are invited to explore the history of radio astronomy and learn what it's like to see through the eyes of our state-of-the-art telescopes in this all-new panoramic hollow experience. Special viewing, want to see our antennas moving down the tracks? Ping our visitors information center to get dates and viewing times. November special, we're getting ready for our 2059 annual viewing of the abandoned Odyssey spa spacecraft as it follows its orbital path above the Western Grand Array. Book early bird tickets and receive a complimentary hollow sculpture based on the original Odyssey blueprints. Always remember to turn off all implants and digital devices while visiting the premises. Okay. Neat. Can I do something with this generator? It's got this fancy symbol on it and all, but like for what purpose? Thank you. Okay. Well, I saw a ladder over here. Yeah, can I climb this? That looked breakable. Oh, I have to fully draw it. It didn't do enough damage. Okay. Whoop. I'm glad the game explained that to me. Otherwise, I would have thought it just wasn't breakable. I had to jump it. Hmm, no power, huh? Well, hold up a sec. Hold up a second. Hold up a second. This must have generated power at some point. That's dead now. Can I like power it up somehow? Is that hittable? No, I didn't think so. Use the cool caster on that. I thought maybe I could open that and rewire something or something or other. You think if I shoot this with an electric arrow, it'll like get power? I don't think it will, but I want to try. We gonna find out. Where's my uh, lightning bow? It's this one, right? Yeah. Well, let's see. Nope. Nah, I didn't think so. It was worth a shot, though. Never know until you try or the game tells you one or the other. Okay, then, let's just get to climbing. I guess this is something, maybe we get something in the future that can, like, charge stuff up, and then we can come back and interact with this. Hello. Make this jump? Easily. Aloy's body just going through the ladder there, nothing to worry about. That's just something she's capable of doing. Ooh, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to turn it on right now, okay. Well, that was crap. Roger just bit my head off because he found my little addition to the dishes protocol. Who cares what he thinks? The tourists love it. Every dish aligning one after the other, playing their assigned note over the alarm speakers, all perfectly paced. Music is math, after all. Scientists who don't appreciate the transcendence of the musical scale should have their PhDs revoked, if you ask me. Whatever. Let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. I'll go check Do and Re. They've been sluggish lately. Might have to clean their alignment rotors again. Oh, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, De, To. Okay. I might be able to move things around and find a way up. Just like the other inventory pages, you can change the sort type on the weapons page to split up the weapon types if you wanted. That will probably be useful when I get, like, a bunch more weapon types. Right now, I have not a lot, so it's, like, easy to work with. Ooh, what's over here, huh? Ooh, what's that? That looks overridable. Don't mind me just shimmying along. Nothing to see here. The power cell. Disconnected from the main power line. This should get that generator below the dish going. Why, thank you. Can I just drop? Yes. Yes, I can. This There's is a neat generator. little, uh... Bet this power cell can get it running. Neat little mini puzzle to do to get the tall neck. Power's back. I should check that console I found earlier. Let's do it. Let's get this bad boy spinning. Not this way. It's so bright now. Probably because it came it became night at like the worst possible time. Whoop. Upsie daisy. 
All right, let's try this again. How on earth is this thing still operating? Power or not? Okay. Well, let's get climbing. What could be impeding you, I wonder? Let's find out. Can I jump across this ladder? Easily. You having trouble up here, buddy? Right there. Why am I using fire? There we go. Actually worked. I love fixing things by breaking them. Dude, am I gonna glide down onto the tall neck's head? That'd be pretty pog. Surely, if not this one, at least one tall neck will be like, yeah, dude, just glide to it. I should be able to get to that tall neck now. Just find the right spot. Looks like I might need to glide onto the tall neck. Just gotta tie it right. Can't possibly go wrong! Oh, okay, this is good enough. Oh, dear. Oh, I thought I just jumped off at the last second there. That was a fun way to get a tall neck. I was wondering how they do the tall necks in this game to uh, make them feel fresh compared to the first one while also still, you know, being a classic. No, go up. What are you doing? What are you doing, Aloy? There you go. There we go. Time to override the big guy. First tall neck of Forbidden West. First tall neck overridden, Cinnabar Sands. I'm out. Dude, that entire sequence with the tall neck is just like the first game, but it looks so much nicer. Like it just looks so much cleaner. Oh, this is interesting. So when you override the tall neck now, it doesn't like just make everything visible. It just lets you see through the cloud cover. That's pretty neat. There's death's door with a workbench. What a shock. Oh, is that a metal devil? Is that the metal devil that Silence was looking at at the end of the first game? All right, well, this is interesting. So you can still kind of tell, like, where you haven't been in the game yet, but you get to see everything. There's Plain Song, which is the, uh, the Ataru, I think they said? What's that up there? River Him. Interesting. Okay, and then this is, like, all of this right here. Like, this over here is the Daunt. This is No Man's Land. And then from here on, it is the, uh, the Forbidden West. We got a Tall Neck way back there. Landfall. One... Two, three, four. Four tall necks. So five total in the game, it seems. Also, there's a cauldron up there. Unknown cauldron. And there's a cauldron right here. We're getting really close to our first cauldron. Let's go. Surely there's more than just two cauldrons in this game. Right? I would expect, it, like, four, probably. Like in the first game. But they've only marked these two. Maybe there are, like, more cauldrons deeper in the game, but I'm not close enough for it, maybe? Yeah, I think I like this better, too, where it doesn't just remove everything, all of the cloud from the map. Like, to get the cloud off the map entirely, you need to go there. So the game is like, alright, you've explored that spot, you've done it. But, like, this way, you can still kind of see, like, oh, I haven't been up here, like, at all yet, because it's still got some cloud cover over it. That's pretty cool. Considering the enemies are controlling machines too, do you think they might be controlling tall necks too, Chaos? Uh, they might be like, I mean, you can't like control a tall neck though. 
Because when Aloy overrides a, a tall neck, and I assume Silence overrides the same way we do, and we're working under the assumption that Silence is the one teaching them how to uh, override, you can't control a uh, tall neck. When you override a tall neck, it just gives you map information, but you don't get to make it do what you want. So, like, they wouldn't, they shouldn't, at least, maybe they will, who knows, but they shouldn't be able to uh, control tall necks. They should just be able to get information from them. Leap Lashers, that's what that enemy is that was giving me trouble. Man, so what do I want to do now? Part of me wants to go to the next main mission, to be completely honest with you. Because I want to see Silence. But I mean, I don't want to rush the main missions too much. Is that a Thunderjaw? Thunderjaw. Really? You're going to hit me with a Thunderjaw? This early? You're really going to do that to me, game? Be rude like that? I also want to hit up a Cauldron. I'm kind of debating... I'm kind of debating if I want to go do the cauldron first or if I want to go talk to Silence first. Assuming Silence will even be there, I wouldn't be surprised if he just talks to me through our focus again like in the first game he always did. Got some more rebel outposts. Probably need to go to Plainsong at some point. There's a lot to do. There's another hunting ground. So many question marks to check out. This Thunderjaw is guarding some kind of a question mark. Ooh, unknown settlements. Okay, not just an unknown. Why are these question marks differently shaped? And they're like thicker. Thicker. With like a couple of C's in there. Man, so so much to do, so much to see. What's wrong with taking the back streets, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Music reference? Uh, honestly, I think, and therefore I am. I think I want to go to this metal devil and talk to Silence. So I think what we're going to do is go straight south from here, maybe interact with, like, this question mark on the way, and go talk to Silence, or just see whatever is going on with the coordinates where uh, the Spire sent. And then after that, we're going to go hit up the cauldron. I'd like to... I want to do the next main mission today, and I want to do the cal the first cauldron today. Now that we've done the first tall neck. Although we're coming up on three hours, we might not have enough time for both a cauldron and a main mission, but... Let's, you know, let's just Looks play like it by ear, see what happens. Stay back. Oh, wait, people in trouble over here? Hey, guys, you good? Hi, I'm an outlander. Help, her. Help me. Right. Song is counting on us. Eon, stay with the harvest. Dude, how are you supposed to get this thing down? Ice, probably. Good hit, good hit. Hey, get down from there. Come fight me like a man. Our people need this food. We can't let this thing stop us. Does it ever come? Okay, it's coming back down. Here we go. Hey there, bud. No, you don't. Hey, check this out. Bam. All right, there we go. Much better. Got it. Oh, that was a Sky Drifter, not a Leap Lasher. That one was a little different. So that's why it wasn't coming down. That one's a lot more like a, uh... This one's a lot more like a, uh... A Glint Hawk. That's the word I'm thinking of. Whew, it's got a lot. Okay. So, uh, what's up with you guys, then? Never forget everything I just said. We're doing this now. The Harvest. It's untouched. Hey. Everyone all right? You saved our lives. More importantly, you saved the harvest we carry. The Utaru are in your debt. Aloy. I am dying. You're saying that's a whole harvest. The red light you see around you has withered most of our crops. What little we carry, we had to collect at the edge of the plains. So this is Utaru territory? It is. Our home plain song lies just down the road. I'm afraid you won't see many outlanders like yourself there. Uh, my people like to keep to themselves. But if you're lacking weapons or supplies, I know some of them would be willing to trade with you. Here, it's not much, but it's the least I can do to thank you. I can't take this. Please, any kindness we see, we also sow. Thank you. Dime. You should go. 
Tell the others we have the harvest, and that we need a healer. Right. May the land bloom in your steps. I should go too. If you do make it to Plain Song, we share our meals up on the northern dish. Diane's one of the cooks there. I'm sure he can make you some rations worth trading for. I'll try to make my way there if I can. I like these little, like, pseudo side quests. Like that different green marker where it's just like you interact with someone shortly and help them out and then you, like, move on instead of it being a full on side quest. It's a pretty neat little thing. Well, now I'm, like, right next to Plain Song, so now I'm like, ah, oh, well, you know. Silence can wait. He makes me wait all the time. Let's go check out Plain Song and see what's happening here. If I don't find a Gaia backup, it'll be like this everywhere. Mmm, so that's why the Utaru are uh, struggling, huh? They're getting hit with the Blight harder than other people. Land God Plowhorn? What? Is this machine not bad? Is it friendly? Docile acquisition machine of religious interest to the Utaru tribe, oblivious to interruption. That's really intriguing. Very intriguing indeed. Well, let's check it. Dude, this place looks so cool. Have I mentioned in this stream about how pretty this game is? Because, ooh, baby, it is. Did you guys see something flash on the screen right there, too? Well, here's Plain Song. I don't really know where the front door is. Like, where, where do I walk in from? Where's, like, the entrance to this place? Yeah, the blight looks like it's hitting the Utaru real hard. We gotta get that terraforming, uh, back on the way. Hi, don't mind me. I'm just, like, jumping in in the most awkward way possible. Hey! Oh, here's another, like, mini section. Hello! How's it going? An outlander in plain song. You'll want to talk to me if you plan on surviving out here. Keep your guard up if you're heading southwest of Plainsong. We've had reports of Tanakh rebels in the area. Our scouts are still recovering from their wounds. I'll keep that in mind. All right, nice talk. I don't know why I had to sit down for that. We could use some backup against Tanakh rebels. Well, well, well. Sounds like a really good way to make them indebted to me. And then the more people we get indebted to Aloy, Aloy can then leverage that as to be like, Hey, I know Avad, he's a cool guy, you should, like, make peace. Just start to spreading the peace all around. What's this unknown over here? Or is it outside of the town? No, it says it's, like, right in here. Is it- it must be above me. It must be up on the- Oh, they did say that they live, like, on the dishes, right? Yeah, the Stitcher is- okay. There's a way to get up, and then they, like, live up on top of the satellite dishes. I understand. Look at these giant plants, my word. Don't mind me, just checking the place out. Side quest over here? It's probably above me. I, I think I need to find a way up. How does one get up on the satellite dishes of Plainsong? This one looks to be the most tilted down, so probably over here. Is that Machine Strike? Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, it's time to feed my addiction. Unknown Machine Strike. This could be the third beginner player we've been looking for. They're probably right up on top there. Okay, focus on getting up top before anything else. Oh, uh, you probably just go in the front door, you moron. If I had to guess. Dumb idiot. May the land bloom in your steps. May the land bloom indeed. Yeah, we got any, uh, this is my stash. I thought it was a workbench because it mentioned a workbench. Where's the workbench? Like right over here? It was probably up top. I saw a grapple thing. I think the workbench is above me. It's been a while since we looked at upgrading stuff. All right, let's finally, like, get up here. Dude, this is such a cool setup. This is a really cool looking area. I love this. It gives me major, like, Frontier Village from Xenoblade vibes. 
Except even prettier, because it's, you know, made on the PlayStation 5 instead of the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Fire Hunter Bow, we can upgrade to level 2. Oh yeah, we got plenty for that. We're actually getting low on braided wire. Probably need to, uh, try and get more of that if able. We don't use fire all that much, but we haven't been running into many enemies that are weak to fire. As soon as we run into some fire enemies, I'll be glad that that's uh, upgraded. I don't really want to upgrade the warrior bow. I don't really like it all that much, and we're low on braided stuff right now. Tripcaster I could level up? Eh. I don't really use it much either. Ropecaster, however. Ropecaster I care a lot about. I'm sure we'll end up getting a better ropecaster at some point anyway, but... Boop. Uh, don't have a scrapper radar. The spike thrower, I could get to level 3 if I wanted, but again, I haven't really been using it, so... Seems like it could be a waste. Still wearing Nora Anointed, so like, you know... I'd have to use my two Fanghorn antlers. But I mean, that's a pretty good upgrade. A lot of shock resistance. Or I assume that's resistance, it might- yeah, it is resistances. Decent melee and impact resistance. I'd get a slot to put on it. 